Hello and welcome to the Drop the Ball podcast with me, Sam Law. No Jack Lee today is away training uh, to be a ninja. No, he's not. He's, uh, if, if anybody doesn't know out there, me and Jack are professional golfers. And uh, Jack is currently doing his third year PGA course. So he's down at the Belfry Monday to Friday. In classrooms, learning about golf and all sorts. Uh, so he's not on the podcast today. We've thought about maybe doing a a phone in where Jack phones in and we'd just have a chat for ten minutes or so. But I've decided just to uh, knock a podcast out myself. It's not going to be a long one, maybe fifteen minutes, something like that, twenty minutes. But we'll see how it goes. Just reviewing what happened this weekend in the world of sport that we like to watch. Um, it is quite strange that we don't even talk about golf on this podcast, um, personally, because I don't really follow it anymore, not followed it for years really, I don't like watching golf, um, I sometimes don't even like playing golf, to be honest with you, it's a bit of a strange one, uh, I'm not, I'm not a playing professional golfer, golfer, and neither is, uh, neither is Jack, to be honest with you, uh, we more run a retail shop, at a local golf club, uh, the golf club Jack Normie shouts out at the start, Ickleton Golf Club as a sponsor. We sponsor it. Don't get, don't pay ourselves anything for that sponsor though. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of uh, what we do. Te- we teach a lot and custom fit people, so we're not playing professionals as such as club, good honest club pros. So yeah, Jack's uh, Jack's away for the week. He'll probably be back on the podcast next week. Um, what should we get into first? Let's talk about my team first. Uddersfield Town got beat 4-0 this weekend on Saturday against Bournemouth, away at Bournemouth. Now 4-0, it, obviously shocking result for us. I thought we could have gone and took the points there. A point would have been good. Three, three would have been definitely likely on the cards. Um, but we just missed missed too many chances. Really, I watched a little bit of the game, and then I've seen the highlights. I think Bournemouth scored in the twenty fifth minute, something like that, the first goal. And it's, I mean, there's an, a horrific tackle on um, Flo Hadders and I, our right back just before they scored. Absolute terrible tackle on him. Ref didn't give a free kick. Ball's gone down the pitch. Bournemouth have won a corner. Uh, had a Janais had to go off for treatment. <coughs> As usual case, don't let him back on. They score from corner. Bad defending from the corner, so that's that, but it shouldn't have been a corner in the first place because, uh, I mean, it would just took clean out I mean I'd have probably give a yellow card for it but some were saying it could have even been a red card how, how bad the tackle was um, then the second goal as well offside from a free kick Callum Wilson scores his second he scored the first one as well so we're two and down really just I mean could have defended the, the corner better obviously but I don't know it just seems to happen to us we, we don't really get rubber the green to him. I don't think we've had any luck early this season um, and then yeah, well, Bournemouth got sent um, down to ten men on stroke half time. So you're thinking second half, go at them, try and get a point, maybe three if you've got a bit of momentum. But it just t- turned out opposite, really. Four nil. Uh, Scott Malone messed up for the third one, tried to run it out, got caught, bang, straight in back in net. Similar with fourth, really game over when it was three nil. To be fair. But we just never look... Our biggest problem is we do look good, but we don't look like scoring a lot of time. And that's just down to, I think, decision-making. When they get around 18-yard box, some poor decision decisions are definitely made from wingers and attacking players a lot of the time. Um, I wouldn't really want to blame like the strikers. Depotre and Mounier came on. Towards then, I won't. I won't blame them too much. I think it's more the quality that gets into them a lot of the time ain't, ain't good enough. So we, we look fantastic until either a ball's got to be crossed or 
a shot gets taken on. I don't think we shoot enough, to be honest with you. Uh, but when they do shoot, they're not normally great shots, to be fair. So no wonder they don't like shooting. Um, I know Van La Parra scored a beauty a couple of weeks ago against West Brom, but phew, 99 times out of 100, that's that's going straight over at bar normally. Just a bit of a will beat a goal from him other week. But yeah, I don't know. I think... When it comes to January, that's definitely the area we need to strengthen. Is um, I'd like to see Sabiri play a little bit more, maybe. He looked decent when he came on. He, he kind of wants to make things happen and wants to run at players, wants to get in box. Uh, whereas, I don't know, I like Kashunga last year, but he's not cut it at all this year. Van La Parra, I know he's getting a lot of praise lately and he, he, he's exciting to watch, but he's more frustrating to watch really for me. Not the biggest, not the biggest fan of him to be honest with you. He's getting a lot of praise at the moment, and and rightly so because he has had a few good games and looked very good. But again, end products not not good enough. Not good enough for Premier League, I don't think. Um, we need Casey Palmer back. I hope he, he's going to add something when he comes back. A bit of quality. Um, but yeah, that's that. Not not a good day at the office uh, for for. The old Huddersfield town. Um, Jack's team, Man United, won 4 1 against Newcastle. Didn't really see much of it. I was out in Leeds at the time. It was my birthday last Tuesday. We mentioned it on um, last week's podcast. Uh, yeah, 14th of November was my birthday, my 30th birthday. So went out with friends on Saturday uh, around Leeds, which were a good night. But I weren't that well Sunday, to be honest with you. I'm not used to drinking and going out to the extent that I did on Saturday night slash Sunday morning. Yeah, that's enough said about that, really. Um, What else has happened this week and weekend just gone? What else do we talk about normally? UFC, the UFC Sydney card on, which uh, weren't that great, really. I know Vadum won in a decision, not seeing any of the fights. Who else won of note? Didn't really know many. I know Elias Theodoro, he won. He looks like, I don't know, a modern day freaking... Um, what's he look like? Looks like a cartoon character. Yeah, he's... Uh, what would you call him? Like, a, I don't know, a modern day Tarzan or something like that. He beat this dude called Dan Kelly, who wears like, it was Australian, he wears like knee braces, so a bit of a comical fight, but I think Theodore won decision maybe, again, not not too clued up on that fight card, didn't watch any of it to be fair, so not going to comment too much on it if I didn't watch it or know anything about it. Um, what else has happened in the world of... UFC or sport. UFC, Holly Holm and Chris Cyborg, that fight's going down at 219, uh, which is the end of December. Um, what's the other one? They're trying to make Woodley Nate Diaz, which would be an interesting fight. Um, I'd still pick, I'd pick Woodley, favour Woodley definitely on that one. But I'd like to see Nate Diaz back. He's one of my favourites, Nate Diaz, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I'd hope that'd happen, to be fair. Bit of excitement for that end of year card. Um, anything else? Let me just have a quick look. Any, anything comical gone off this week? Um, yeah, birthday last week. What else has gone down this last week? Oh, David A's pulled out of his, out of his fight against um, Tony Bellew, which were going down in December. That's not good for David A. Arm injury, I think he's fell downstairs or something like that. Which is uh, stupid. Uh, I mean, they do all that training and then he falls downstairs. What? Uh, yeah, so that's not happening. I think Tyson Fury keeps calling Bellew out on, on the old Twitter machine. Yeah, Tyson Fury offers to replace injured hate in Bellew rematch so that would be funny or not funny 
He'd have to lose a lot of weight. Well, it's at heavy weight, I know, but he'd have to lose a hell of a lot of weight. Um, what else is the? What else is the? This week, let me just have a quick look. Oh, Tony Pulis has been sacked at West Brom. Don't know any update on a replacement for that, but that is happening. Oscar De La Hoya keeps calling out, well not keeps, start to call out Conor McGregor for some reason. No idea why. Um, oh, this Colby Covington character in UFC were down at UFC Sydney as a guest fighter. They send a few fighters down each card to do Q&As and press and, and whatnot. And I think Masvidal were down there with him. They're, they're two buddies, two training partners. Um, and he got hit by a <laughs> hit by a boomerang um, by Fabricio Vadum, who was fighting on that card, was the headlining, headliner. Um, yeah, there's video footage out there if you want to check it out. Uh, that's that's comical. Oh, what else? Yeah, Con Conor McGregor put a shitty statement out about um, the incident which happened between him and Mark Goddard pretty much at Bellator 187 the other week where McGregor mounted the cage, jumped in as one of his teammates had won like pretty much in the last second of the first round, jumped on him, all a bit chaotic in 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 the uh, ring octagon, and he sh ended up shoving Mark Goddard, and then he's apologised for that. He's not really apologised for that, really, or has he? He's apologised for his actions and the way he behaved, but then he went on to kind of say that he acted like he did towards Mark Goddard because Goddard said to him that the fight wasn't over and um, McGregor was saying it's clearly over the dude's knocked out but Goddard to his defence said I could not hear the bell because there was that much commotion going off I didn't know what were what now clearly when he's gone to look at him it's over but McGregor brought kind of death um, into it he, he, he saw I think this was last year one of his teammates were fighting somebody and the guy that McGregor's teammate four ended up dying afterwards. Um, so he brought kind of that into the. I don't know. I didn't really like McGregor's uh, kind of apology or lack of to, towards Mark Goddard because Mark Goddard seems a good dude, and McGregor. I don't know. Must have been I have coke or some uh, angel dust or some shit um, that night where he jumped jumped in the cage. So yeah, that's. Uh, that's that. I'm just trying to think what else uh, what else has been going off this week. Any football news? Arsenal beat Tottenham, North London Derby. Which is a bit of a shock. I don't think Tottenham turned up as such, so I heard here. 2-0 uh, that was. What other scores were there? Let's have a look. Brighton are currently losing to Stoke 2-1 at the time of recording this. Burnley won 2 0. Burnley are flying. Flying eye. Where well, they ain't league now. They're bit up there, Burnley. Seventh, 22 points. Same points as Arsenal and Liverpool. The one behind Tottenham. That's crazy, that. Crazy. Crystal Palace, Everton, 2 2. Everton still not really got a manager. Man City 2 0 beat Leicester, that's no shock. Liverpool beat Southampton 3 0. West Brom lost to Chelsea 4 0, that's put the nail in uh, Tony Pulis's coffin at, as the manager of West Brom. Then, yeah, Man U 4 1. Sunday, Watford, oh, West Ham. West Ham lost to Watford. Uh, David Moyes' first match lost. So, yeah, it's not looking good for bottom teams there, really. Sabala Uddersfield in 11, 14 points. Doing doing well. Doing well. Got a couple of toughies though coming up. We've got Man City this Sunday and then Arsenal following Wednesday. 
Yeah. Looking forward to it, but whew, I don't know if we're going to get any points out of that. Those two at all, really. So, I think I might just wrap it up there. Just do a little short one for you. To anybody that listens. I think I'm going to do one a bit later on in the week. Uh, one of my friends who's been on before, Matthew Collin. Um, he is... I think we might be doing one Thursday. So we'll have plenty to talk about with Matthew. I'll talk about... Or he'll talk about NFL a little bit on Thursday. I think it could be Thursday we might record. So the podcast might be out Friday. Uh, my team, Jacksonville Jaguars... The my team, but I don't really know anything about American football. Uh, but the one again, I think the one four on trot. So yeah, get in. Um, but we'll talk about that if we do a podcast end of this week. Um, just thought I'd do a quick one today, just to keep keep it weekly. We had a, a week off the other week, illnesses and whatnot, and kind of breaks the flow of it a little bit, whereas even if I put out a little short 15, 20-minute one, it just keeps the rhythm of the podcast going. Um, i tell you what I might do now. I might just mention a few podcasts that I listen to, um, which are some are sport-related and some are n- definitely not sp- sport-related. Uh, let's just have a quick look. I'll, I'll do that, actually. Because I like a good podcast. I've been listening to Russell Brand one today. Uh, the Radio X one he does. That's good. He's got two. He's got the Radio X one, which is pretty much um, his Radio X show. Uh, we all adverts and all music cut out of it and whatnot. I don't know how many times he does Radio X show during the week. But they put a podcast out weekly of everything that's been uh, that's been done and chopped up. That's, that's great. He has some good guests on there. Other ones I listen to, uh, Theo Von's my favourite probably at the minute, This Past Weekend. That's Theo Von, V-O-N, This Past Weekend. That's a great podcast, that. Um, a comedian from <coughs> Louisiana, I think he's from in America, but really good work, really good work. Fighter and the Kid, uh, Brendan Sharp and Brian Callan. Uh, Jack actually bought me a Fire and the Kid t-shirt for my birthday. So thank you, Jack. It's a nice t-shirt. Yellow. Um, yeah, they, they had Theo Von on other week and it was just hilarious. I listened to um, Rich Roll podcast. Rich Roll is um, a podcaster, basically, but he's also like a bit of a health advocate. Uh, into like the plant-based and vegan lifestyle, which I'm very much into. He has some good guests on there. He had Lance Armstrong on last week, which was a good podcast to listen to. Um, it's got one on this week. I started listening to it. It's called Icarus, which is a film that's, I think, out on Netflix. It's uh, by a guy called Brian Fogel. The, the topic is how Brian Fogel exposed the biggest doping scandal in Olympic history. So I obviously had Lance Armstrong on last week. Obviously got caught. I didn't really get caught, I don't think, but he kind of admitted everything. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to listen to the rest of that. That'll be a good one. What else do I listen to? Uh, Ball Street. I like their podcasts. They're a YouTube channel, and they do a couple of different podcasts a week. Uh, they do one called The Long Ball Street, which is good. They do one called One for the Weekend. But they put daily content out on YouTube as well. Uh, it's all about football. Football, pretty much. Um, but I like, I like their work. Joe Rogan, listen to him every so often. Well, quite often, really. Uh, Brendan Shah, Big Brown Breakdown. He had Deontay Wilder on as a guest this week, which was decent. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, I listen to some of his stuff sometimes. He's like a, um, an entrepreneur kind of dude, but I like him because he's a bit no, he's well, a bit definitely no bullshit. He tells it as it is, and he's uh, is a bit is a bit hypo, definitely, kind of a bit opposite to my personality, really. But he's uh, definitely got some good good knowledge and info, definitely. Uh, well, it's boxing life. 
Um, I'll listen to that one sometimes. That's Tony Jeffries' podcast. Uh, one of my favourite... Uh, I mean, I watched the MMA hour with Ariel Hawani. That's a good one on YouTube, but it goes into a podcast format as well. MMA Beat, that's Hawani again. Luke, Tom, Luke Thomas is easily one of my favourite MMA journalists, easily. Um, a couple others that they have on the panel are MMA Beat. But Luke Thomas does a couple of bits and bobs um, for... Uh, he's got like his own YouTube channel and also he works for like the, what is it called? MMA Fighting. That's their uh, their YouTube channel. Um, he does some good, Luke Thomas is great to listen to I think. When I first kind of saw him I thought this guy's a bit of a dick, a bit of a know-it-all dick journalist but he's really funny actually, really, really funny. Um Uh, listen to um, Joey Diaz sometimes, another comedian, he's decent. I sometimes listen to Uta Beer, which is um Huddersfield Examiner podcast, that's not too bad. True Geordie, uh, mainly watch him on YouTube. Some of his stuff goes to podcast as well, which is decent. What else have I got here, which is good? That's probably about it, really. Yeah, seems to be about it. But Theo Von, definitely check Theo Von out. It's great. Great, fantastic, fantastic O. I think that be, might be about it. Russell Brown one's good, though. Russell Brown's excellent to listen to. Excellent. Uh, I also listen to Drop the Ball podcast, which you should check out. Um, our Twitter handle is drop at Drop the Ball Pod. Same on Instagram, we don't put too much on Instagram, put little bits and bobs on Twitter, probably should do a little bit more to try and get the word out there, spread the knowledge. Um, there's just loads of stuff out there really though, so we just enjoy doing it and having a laugh, me and Jack, with this. Um, it'd be great if we could grow it a little bit, get a few more listeners, people commenting, whatnot, but we've kind of not, for me, not really put the work into trying um, get that kind of audience yet we're doing decent we do obviously weekly podcasts get the content out there all right but it'd be nice to maybe just uh, push it along a bit further but obviously we're working people I do quite a bit of running just started my training for London Marathon in April so yeah getting into that that takes a bit of time out your life plus work so yeah we do as much as we can um yeah so drop the ball podcast twitter instagram is at drop the ball pod this will go on youtube just as an audio probably just search for drop the ball podcast on youtube and that's it we'll do another podcast end of week like i mentioned me and matthew jack's away but boom see ya